Welcome to the Hemophilia Council of California and the California Chronic Care Coalition's webinar, Conquering Insurance Challenges, Finding New Coverages and Overcoming Denials. I'm Lynn Kinst, Executive Director of the Hemophilia Council of California. Thank you for joining us for this important topic. With that, I would like to thank Takeda for sponsoring our 2020 webinar series and introduce you to our first presenter for today. Kelly Bradfield has been with Covered California's External Affairs team since 2015. External Affairs specializes in government relations and community outreach, and some of her areas of focus include community outreach events like this, as well as working with the California legislature on new legislation that impacts Covered California consumers. She also serves as Covered California's official liaison to the California American Indian partners and enrollees. So Kelly, um, we look forward to hearing more from you about um, Covered California's special enrollment period. Thank you so much, Lynn, and thank you for having me. Um, and thanks for all of you who are joining us. Uh, Covered California really values all opportunities to spread the word about uh, our special enrollment period and making sure that in these extraordinary times, people have access to the care that they need and deserve. So right now, as of March 20th, in direct reaction to COVID-19, we want to make sure folks know that we are in a special enrollment period, which means that anyone uninsured and eligible to enroll in healthcare through Cover California can sign up through the end of June. So whether you lost your job or you need health care because specifically COVID, um, any reason, um, and you are eligible to sign up, we want you to come in. And in fact, as of yesterday, we announced that uh, more than 123,000 people have done so. They signed up for coverage through Cover California since March 20th, when we started this special enrollment period. So for those who do take advantage of this special enrollment period, coverage will begin on the first day of the next month. Um, another option folks have is maybe you are already one of our consumers, but your income has changed. Um, we really encourage you um, to make sure to report those changes as soon as possible. Um, it means you can have access to different levels of subsidies. Subsidies or help paying for your coverage every month are based on your income. And if your income has changed, we want to make sure you are getting the appropriate level of financial assistance. During the special enrollment, you can also come in and change your plan or change your metal tier. If you purchased a bronze plan, for instance, which most folks purchase if they don't plan to use a doctor a lot and your circumstances have changed um, and you'd like to get a different level plan, you can come in and do that between now and the end of June. We wanna make sure folks have every chance to get the care that they need. And also we're working closely with DHCS. So DHCS oversees uh, California's Medi-Cal program. Um, eligibility for Cover California versus Medi-Cal does often hinge on income. And so there are folks who may transition between the two programs at this time. Um, so we wanna make sure folks know that Medi-Cal is pausing all renewal reviews, which means two things. One, anyone on Medi-Cal right now will not be dropped from coverage if they aren't getting a, paper, a piece of paper in, for instance, confirming that they're still eligible. And also it means that Medi-Cal and DHCS is focusing on getting these new enrollees in as soon as possible. Um, and for Medi-Cal, which is always available year round, there is no open or special enrollment period for Medi-Cal, your coverage is immediately effective. So this is a really valuable resource for folks who may be facing extraordinary health challenges at this time. Um, and I also want to make sure folks know that our new state subsidies remain in place. So we have been um, spreading the word through TV, um, radio, um, internet ads, all kinds of ways along with special events like this to let folks know that as of this year, there are new state subsidies. So for folks who are um, maybe eligible for federal subsidies, you may have state subsidies on top of that. And for folks who were not eligible for federal subsidies, you may have access to new subsidies for the first time. So for families of four making up to about $155,000 a year and individuals making up to about $75,000 a year may now qualify for more subsidies. So these, these income limits really have gone up. We, um, the intent of 
the legislature and the governor really was try to try to reach folks in those middle income groups um, who may not be low income, but healthcare is incredibly expensive and trying to make those payments more within reach for folks. Um, so this financial assistance lowers the average household monthly premium from $881 per month to 272, a decrease of 70%. And of course, these numbers will vary for every household size and every income level, but uh, we really want to make sure folks think about that and come in and check their eligibility on our website and I'll cover where to, do, where to go for that um, to ensure that you have every opportunity to enroll in coverage. And there are a couple of new um, initiatives that cover California and our partner uh, health plans are putting together uh, to make sure that for folks who already have coverage get access to care. So one thing is that for folks who already have coverage, uh, we do have reduced cost sharing, which means that if you need to go see the doctor to get screened or tested for COVID under all Calvary California or medical plans, you will not have to pay at time of service for that. So all medically necessary screening and testing for COVID are free under Covered California and Medi-Cal. Um, and depending on your plan, and we encourage folks to reach out to their individual plan, uh, cost sharing associated with all COVID-19 treatment will be waived for some consumers in, uh, depending on what your plan is. And I know um, even more plans have announced reduced or um, eliminated cost sharing for COVID treatment. So please, please reach out to your individual plan to make sure uh, to confirm if that's important to you, what your benefits will be. Um, and then also Cover California and Medi-Cal plans are increasing our access to telehealth services uh, so that everyone, even if it's a COVID-19 related concern or just a run of the mill health concern, you can access care without leaving the safety of your home, particularly for our more vulnerable populations. And that is carrier by carrier and individual by individual. So please confirm um, your benefits, but uh, it is a, a widespread um, initiative. Um, so that's just a little bit of background, but we want to make sure to emphasize what you can do to enroll into coverage today if you or someone you know is without coverage. Um, so there's one application for all Californians seeking health coverage, no matter your income level, and you can learn more and apply online. On your own, without assistance, you can explore um, at CoveredCA.com. Um, there's a tool called Shop and Compare where you can, in about two minutes, you put in your income, your zip code, and your family size, and it can estimate the subsidies that you are, you may be eligible for. So it's a really helpful tool. And then I know uh, about half of our consumers uh, do enroll with assistance of some kind. So we want to make sure that folks know that if you've never applied for Cover California, if you don't want to deal with an online application right now, um, there are several resources for you as well. One of them is our Cover California Service Center. So we do have two service centers uh, with hundreds of service center representatives that are state employees that are on the phone every weekday. Um, and they are here to help you apply for free. Uh, so they are experts in getting folks enrolled. It, um, often in as little as 30 minutes, they can take your information and get you enrolled into a plan. Um, and there, I know that right when our COVID restrictions started, our uh, service center staff were less able to re get to those phone calls because we were quickly transi transitioning to telework, but we have everyone working from home and our service levels are back up. And so we really encourage folks to give a call, even if it's just you have a question about your account or your plan, um, we are back here and serving consumers. So please let us know how we can help you. And it, even if you are not a preferred English speaker, our in-language assistants and interpreters are available for all consumer, consumers in a wide variety of languages. And that phone number, um, as you can see, is 1-800-300-1506, 1-800-300-1506. Also other resources, we have something called uh, Local Help On Demand. We wanna make sure folks know that maybe you prefer to, you have an existing insurance agent or you'd prefer to find someone in your community to help you out. Um, our certified partner agents are a huge, huge resource for us and our consumers. And there's a tool on our website uh, called Help On Demand where you can put in your name and your phone number and give us permission for 
uh, to share your information with um, a carefully screened and appropriate uh, insurance agent who can call you back within 20 minutes. And you can select, um, there's a number of different criteria, including your language. So if you have a, um, a concern specific to your community, this is something that many of our consumers really appreciate. They feel like they're getting local specialized help that really speaks to them. You can find the link from our homepage or it's coveredca.helponddemand.com. And I know uh, Lynn was saying that uh, this presentation will be also be posted when it's finalized. So um, these websites, if you are having trouble navigating, uh, it's really, uh, the help on demand button is pretty prominent, but this, will, this address will be posted also later. Another resource we have um, is that uh, we have a number of other folks who are ready to help. So if you are calling a plan directly who's partnered with Cover California, uh, every plan has plan-based enrollers who can help you enroll. Uh, if you go to many health clinics, they will have enrollers embedded in their health clinic staff. And if, on our homepage, you can see a live chat option. So you can chat with a customer service representative from your home, from your home, and you can find that link on our homepage. So we want folks to know there's a many, many different options. This is purposeful. We know many folks have different preferences, different individual circumstances. Uh, our staff can help you navigate which plan might work for you and how often you feel that you may need to see a doctor. Um, and what works for your own individual family circumstances. When it comes time to enroll, even if you are calling or using our online application, the essential information we want to make sure you have on hand is income information if you plan to apply for subsidies. It is possible that to apply for Cover California coverage without applying for any financial help, in which case we don't need your income information. But 90% of our consumers do receive subsidies across California. So subsidies are widely available and we want everyone to apply for them. Um, you will need uh, your identification, proof of citizenship or lawful presence, your social security number and your zip code. And if you have questions about any of these items and why they're needed or what paperwork qualifies for each of these things, um, there are notes on the application if you're doing it online and also uh, your local agent or our service center representative can also help you uh, navigate that. Just as a sample of what our online application looks like, this is just one little excerpt. Um, we do have new messaging for stimulus payments and which stimulus payments qualify as income and which don't and for which programs. So we are being responsive to COVID in this very unusual times we're in. Um, but this is just a little excerpt and you'll go through a number of um, application pages. You'll make an account um, and uh, you'll see your health options your health plan options and your uh, subsidy levels in that application. And for folks who may be unfamiliar, I wanted to just quickly go through the health plans that are available through Cover California. So Cover California contracts with uh, well-known private health insurance companies um, such as Anthem, Blue Shield, Kaiser, Oscar Molina, um, all 11 that you see on the screen here. Some of them are available in some areas of the state and some are available in others. So that will be confirmed for you when you are applying and we show you the different health plans to choose from. Um, but uh, we wanted to just reassure folks, this, this is um, private name brand coverage that you've heard of. But Cover California is the only place you can search or shop for this coverage and also get help paying for it. Um, so, and we wanna make sure folks uh, have help paying for coverage whenever possible because health insurance is just very expensive. And especially right now, folks need access to care. Other programs that you can sign up for through Cover California include dental and vision plans. Uh, dental is uh, purchased directly through Cover California and then we refer folks to vision resources uh, if desired and appropriate. Again, we just wanna make sure folks are aware of the resources out there and making sure we're connecting as many eligible folks to coverage as possible. Uh, that about wraps it up for me. Um, I know we're going to have a question and answer session at the end, so um, I look forward to any questions that you have. But I wanted to put out there that External Affairs at Cover California does have a mailbox that we always monitor for specific consumer questions or concerns in case you have something come up or um, something 
if you feel like maybe you have a specific issue with your case, so we can refer those questions out. The mailbox is externalaffairs at covered.ca.gov. That's externalaffairs at covered.ca.gov. It's always monitored. And we, um, we may not know the answer to your question directly, but we can always refer it to our uh, specialized resolutions team. And that is all I have. Thank you so much for uh, coming and uh, giving us an opportunity to share a little bit more about Cover California. And I look forward to any questions or concerns that you may have at the conclusion. Thank you so much, Kelly. Please, if you have questions about coverage, use the uh, mailbox that Kelly indicated, or you can also contact us at the Hemophilia Council. I did want to remind those um, folks that are on the line who are impacted by bleeding disorders, you um, should already be aware that you may also be eligible for state programs such as CCS for children and GHPP for adults. Um, we have previously provided information and webinars um, on those programs and would be happy to help you um, if you have questions about those programs specifically um, and need more information.